today I will be installing a trailer hitch ball on my 96 Ford Ranger. Uh, this generally can go for any SUV with your typical bumper style hitch which I'll show later on. A um, couple tools that I think we'll need. A ratchet, a decent sized one, but you're still going to go around and torque it down to their factory torque spec. Here, I'll show where they show it. Alright, focus. You might not be able to see this, but this three quarter inch thread needs to get torqued down to 160 foot pounds. And then you'll need some red thread locker. And to fit the bolt on here, you will need a one and one eighth socket. Then Unfortunately, this is going to be a little bit awkward. I have this big adjustable wrench. Unfortunately, I don't have anything smaller, but when you're tightening it down, you need to hold the ball up top. And you just kind of got to hold it just like that. And that'll be all the tools you need. Here, I'll show you what I'll do. Okay, what you're going to want to do, take that off, take your lock washer off, slide it in. Just because of how I am, I want to make sure that the numbers are facing towards the back. But one thing that you want to do, you might want to take that back out, put a small amount of thread locker on it. Right there. Get your lock washer on. Get the it on. Just enough so you're not really wasting too much time trying to thread it on with a ratchet. Okay. Now I'll get my ratchet and the socket. Hold it down just enough. You might even be better off using an impact thread in this song, but right now I don't have my impact with me at this point in time. Okay. Crunch to 160 foot pounds. Get our socket, put it on a torque wrench, thread that on. Okay.
go, now we have it installed. Sometimes you might want to just keep the label on file just so you know what kind of ball it is. If you ever want to go around and tighten it after your, every year or so if you do a lot of towing. <clears throat> just keep it around just so you don't have to have a, a torque spec in your brain constantly. And uh, that should be it. That's how to install a trailer hitch bolt on your regular bumper mounted Really, if anything, any any trailer hitch receiver that you have. Thanks for watching.